Hi there, welcome to chendu.org. In this short video demonstration, I would like to show you an interactive visualization made in Excel that shows how Usain Bolt compares with all the 116 years of Olympics printers. Now, this is not my idea. This is an idea that the New York Times has already published, but they use some other technology. So I thought, uh, wouldn't it be cool to recreate the same visualization, but using Excel 2010 and all its features. So first, let us take a quick look at what the New York Times has come up with. So this is what they, uh, they show. Actually, this page has an interesting video as well that shows the same information as a video. Now, it would probably be a very foolish idea to recreate this video in Excel, but we can certainly do this chart. This is a very powerful and quite a nice chart. What it shows is how Usain Bolt, the fastest 100 meters uh, sprinter, compares with all the people in Olympics uh, 100 meter races all the way up to 1896. Now if you go all the way back to 1896 Olympics, you could see that uh, for example Thomas Burke uh, finished the race in 12 seconds and he would be about 19.7 meters behind Usain Bolt if he raced in the same one. And likewise, uh, for example, the Usain Bolt of 2008 uh, Beijing Olympics, uh, he would have been 0.6 meters behind Usain Bolt of 2012 Olympics. So this chart shows the medal color in gold and silver and, and bronze and also how far behind Usain Bolt they would be. And also shows the country-wise performance. So I can just select United States and I can see all the medals US has won or which one is it that Hungary won or or the Portugal or New Zealand or Trinidad and Tobacco or more recently Jamaica. So this is how the chart is made. Now this is pretty interactive, pretty fun to look at and it is quite powerfully done. But at the same time has uh, made in a such a low lightweight manner. So I wanted to create something similar in Excel. The basic chart itself is a scatter plot, but because we wanted to have this sort of interactivity so that you can point on any any bubble, any dot and get the details, uh, I had to rely on a different technique. Let me just jump to Excel so I can show this to you. So this is my chart. Uh, no, dots are not as big as the New York Times, but I think it uh, everything else works pretty much fine. So you can point on Usain Bolt and you can see the details. You can point on, on the Usain Bolt of 2008 and you can see the details. You can you can point on any 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 dot and the details would show up. To make it easy to understand which year is it, uh, I am highlighting the year uh, on the on the year and venue column as well so you can see that. Now, currently we are highlighting all the Jamaican medalists. So these, these uh, rectangles around the medal are the highlights. But if you want to highlight, for example, USA, you know, these are all the medalists from USA. They have been consistently winning medals all the way from very first year of Olympics to as recent as 2012. You can also highlight, for example, new Olympic record set. So obviously the very first time olympics are run that's the olympic record itself but you can you can see how the olympics olympic records have been consistently beaten and the details likewise you can also see medal defenders these are people who uh, have won a second medal in the consecutive olympics uh, the next olympics and they have defended their medal. So if you are a silver medalist now and you won a gold next time, that's called a defend. Or if you are a gold medalist now and you won a gold medalist next time, that's also a defending your medal. So the first time medal defend was happened, it was for Archie Hahn, who won a medal in 1906 as well as uh, 1904 gold. And then there was a gentleman, Ralph Metcalf, uh, uh, who finished in 10.4 seconds and he retained his silver medal. Uh, likewise, uh, most recently, uh, Usain Bolt himself, uh, who finished both 2008 and 2012 Olympics uh, with a gold medal. So that is uh, a small interactive chart. Uh, it looks very simple, but uh, there is a lot of work in behind this, and it took me quite some time to figure out all the all the minor details so that we can get the desired effect without making it look sluggish.
I put in small help as well so you can see what is what for example you can point and use that to find out the details and you can also use this to select a country or or a type of uh, criteria that you want to highlight like new Olympic records or medal defenders let me get rid of that now you might be curious to know how is this actually working I mean this looks pretty impressive but how is it working well there is not much going on uh, in terms of uh, hi-fi logic but what you what we really have is these medals are actually dots uh, let me just uh, enable both formula bar and this and turn on the ribbon so I can just uh, take you a quick tour around this workbook so if you select any particular uh, let me unprotect this if you put, select any particular cell you notice that there is a big formula inside it well you don't have to really worry about the formula but uh, first let me probably show you the data uh, uh, sorry the data behind this um, so this is the actual medal data that I have gathered from the New York Times website as well as uh, Wikipedia where these records are maintained and then I have kind of done some bit of polishing so that we can get this chart and everything done the way we want now this is the basic data so you have the seconds and the distance behind uh, Usain Bolt which is basically we look at the New York Times and then just copy the values and the year and the venue and then year medal is a combination that we create so that we can keep track of certain things and various other things here whether it is Olympic card or whether it's a, um, whether it's a medal defend and which which was the year in which the medal was prior won and things like that well there is not much uh, important things going on here but the basic logic is this uh, once all this data is there then uh, we can see that there are about 2012 all the way up to 1896 these are uh, 28 times 28 years in fact 28 Olympic years so that's how many rows we have here right these are 28 rows if you select this you can see that there right now for each of those years we would ca find out who is the person who won the first medal second medal and third medal in the order of gold silver and bronze so 2012 is 83 83 corresponds to our man Usain Bolt uh, right this is Usain Bolt you can see that the number is 83 so that number is fetched there using some sort of uh, simple index and match formulas and likewise uh, M2 and M3 and on a rare occasion you have M4 this is when uh, two people were awarded bronze medal uh, that was in 1896 after that I think they probably have perfected the art of uh, a photo finish or something so that they could just decide who is the one person who is going to get bronze medal and now based on that uh, uh, I would be showing one of these big dots it's just a dot that goes into the place and then based using some sort of conditional formatting I'm changing the dots color to bronze or silver or gold uh, depending on the type of medal that one so you have here these are the rows contain the ears and the column is the distance behind Usain Bolt all the way up to 24 meters uh, the highest being I think uh, it's probably about 23.6 or something like that right then uh, what we do next is once that is done it's not enough for us to show the dot but I have to also find out that when you place your mouse on the dot I need to show the details now this is simpler than it looks this relies on a technique called as a dynamic hyperlink where if I show you the formula then probably it makes our life easier so if I select any one of these cells uh, you can see that the first part is if blah 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 this is checking whether there is any dot there or not if there is a dot then we need the hyperlink so that we can kick in the dynamic part if there is no dot there itself then we don't do anything so it's just an empty space right so if there is a dot then uh, we are running a hyperlink that is going to kick in a VBA function called as show details this is the this box is being uh, shown by the show details show details of something 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 and then finally this the dot the dot is what appears there as a hyperlink but in the background whenever you place your mouse on that the macro show details it's not a macro it's a function that runs now you might be wondering what that macro is doing so let me just show you the code as well uh, for that 
uh, right this is all the code that is there it's very simple macro what we are trying to do is we first disable the screen updating so this thing can get, run very fast and then we are just checking whether uh, the selected runner that is the person whose medal we are showing is the same one that we have pointed mouse or not so right now it is on auto bolden now if I move my mouse outside and then move it back inside uh, it's going to be auto bolden again so I don't need to redisplay it because it is already shown so that that's the first check that I'm doing so that this can run slightly smooth and then otherwise I'm going to set it to the runner number runner number is nothing but the parameter that this is receiving so any any function show details is getting the runner number that's the first part as well as the address of the cell itself that is calling this function as a reference right then the row and column row and column so here it would be about uh, number 8 and then the column whatever that is D A uh, column both of them are also captured this is because we want to highlight that cell in blue color how do we know which cell to highlight only when we know the row and column number and then we are firing the do event so that Excel can finish any of its tasks and then we just do this um, uh, I think that's probably not necessary but uh, we are just going to take the active sheets of shapes GRP detail this shape itself is called as GRP detail and then we move, move it to whichever cell we are at so currently that is the cell so I'm just going to say uh, the shapes left will be color of left plus 16 and top will be color of top plus 16 so the box moves in relation to the cell where we are firing that hyperlink I think that's probably not necessary and then uh, we kind of kick back the screen updating so you would see some sort of instant movement uh, okay so that's how the macro works so that's how the macro works the next thing that uh, you might be curious to know is how are these all these highlightings happening uh, if I select USA you know all these boxes are appearing how, how is that happening well it's not so difficult either what what is going to happen is we have a bunch of conditional formatting rules behind these cells uh, there are about uh, these three rules are for highlighting the medal so gold silver and bronze and then that is for highlighting the the cell where we are firing so right now that cell is highlighted because we are checking C row and C column and we are matching whether that correct current cells row and column are same as that right the finally this one is just checking whether to show a box around it or not this box will be coming from here so we are just using multiple columns of true and false and then we pick up the final highlight column using some sort of uh, if formula and then we map it back here to the grid of all the medalists so wherever there is a true right now here it is true here it is true here it is these three are true wherever it is true that those medalists would get a box around them indicating that they belong to USA now it may be easier for you to figure out once you break the file apart and see all these things yourself so I'm not going to spoil that fun for you I I hope uh, you have enjoyed this particular example because this kind of shows you what is possible in Excel and also at the same time this uh, celebrates the marvelous achievement of Mr. Bolt himself obviously uh, I can't uh, run as fast as him or even as half as fast as him but I found uh, doing this quite a uh, quite a, a joyful thing because I kind of uh, pushed myself and see what more can be done especially integrating hyperlinks like this uh, I've been doing it quite often but not to this extent and this has a lot of cells with that so I was curious to see whether that would slow down Excel or not and in this case you can see that it's not really that slow I mean uh, you'll probably notice a bit of uh, delay but it's not that much in case you're curious to know a little more about this I encourage you to check out the links in the workbook for those of you who have not downloaded the workbook yet uh, right beneath this YouTube video you would see a link that will take you to my website just go there and get the workbook so once again thank you so much for taking time to see this video and uh, learn from learn from this example a bit 
I hope uh, uh, Usain Bolt and uh, this example have inspired you to do a little more in Excel. So go ahead and have a wonderful day playing with this file and exploring and seeing what can be done. Thank you so much and I'll see you again some other time. You have a great day. Bye-bye.